area. Stabilizer in Section D is online. Coming through loud and clear. Love hey, it. Hey, Francis, pan the car's broadcast frequency to the stabilizer, would you? Hey, come on, I can't do this without you. Fine. There. Your receiver's hooked in now. Oh, my God. And we're patched into all that sweet arc device data. <laughs> we have a storm smart. coming now. Oppy won't be able to block us out anymore. Well, better get going. Here it comes. Frick, that is far. I don't have a great feeling about this. Stick to the road. We'll be fine. Just be cool. Just be cool. Don't panic. No crashing. Now you might be thinking, don't you have off-road tires? Uh, yes, I do. The problem is it's too unpredictable in the forest. That's new. Oh my god. That was so sick. I wish I could scan it, but there's no time for that. Uh oh. I need my limb pulses to help me against that thing. Should be fine. Now there's a lot of uh, water it looks like. I might want to go past the water. Yeah, we're gonna go up and around here. I think we're gonna make it. I think we're gonna make it. Let's go, baby! That was... That was sweaty. Big trip, too. Big trip. Long trip. Lots of energy wow. on the trip. Oppie was hiding a magic teleporter? We could have been beaming all over the zone this whole time. <laughs> what do you mean? They didn't know about that? I'll restore her connection once you do us a little favor. We suspect Oppie's hiding a copy of Otis database in that auto shop of hers. Find it, and we can get back to this remnant business. Okay. Recover ARDA data. I'm still wondering what's behind that locked door. So I'm curious. All yeah, right. see. I've I've identified the electrical circuit for the garage. That's security what's going system. on. And this little two, I think, is that. That's what that that's circuit. indicating. So once I do this, yeah, bingo! That security lock's powered on now. We'll try that overload code from the observation towers. Four seven three five. Yeah, gotta be that. Okay, one second. Do I have space for this? Tree candy, that's new. And definitely, <laughs> it has a look. And we need the hand vac. It's cold but juicy, says Oppie's notes. That's a description that's both profoundly uncomfortable and yet utterly impossible to unhear. Yep. I won't argue with that. We can just leave this for now. We have a fax. Tardigrade count out of control. We're well past 500 TPM. They're self aware. They've created a society. We can't contain them. Excellent. Boy, oh boy, look at all these gizmos in here. Oppie wasn't operating no normal auto shop. A fabrication station. Ooh, her personal vault? I bet there's some good stuff in there. <laughs> I I'm uncomfortable intruding like this. Uh, can you not? 
Hold the phone. There's a machine that prints bobbleheads? What? <gasps> Show me. <laughs> They're so pumped. That's cool. There we go. Let's dump this in here. And I think it's time for these things to go. Not a problem. Here we go. Driver, something you should know about that database? When Arda's funding began to dry up, they handed us our final paycheck with one hand and the same day evacuation orders with the other. Oppie was a higher up, though more entitled than an actual power by that time. She would have known about Arda's plan to close up shop and had enough time to download all the research data before losing access. That data could contain what we need to help you. So, where would the hideaway be then? That's just getting me into the bathroom. Is there a secret here? Oh, yes! Hello! Arc dock. Passenger seat. This enhanced version of the arc device is able to administer rudimentary pain relief and first aid to the occupant of the driver's seat. However, the energy this requires will put a substantial drain on the battery. You still remain unsure if this device is a work of genius, is extremely illegal stolen technology, or some combination of both. Can heal me. Arc dock. Yeah, sweet. Love it. What is she working on in here? Nondescript, but here's the hard drive. Database containing years of lame research and developmental data stolen from ARDA by Oppie herself. I have to send the drive to Tobias and Francis? Oh, okay. We finally have a use for this. I'll fix Oppie's connection. Do you read me? Come in. Do you read me? Loud and clear, you old bat. <laughs> I see. The comms clear up suddenly, and I find you two patched to the garage frequency. <laughs> it all makes sense now. No idea what you're talking about. So, Oppie, what's the, uh, what's the plan? You must have some grand scheme, don't you? Let me get this straight. You hijacked my mission, tapped into my frequency, and now you want to be all buddy-buddy. Not on your life. You think you're hot stuff. Why don't you take the lead then? Get the driver through all by your damn self. She is pissed. Did she just hang up on us? Well, guess it's our time to shine. <laughs> so, uh, Francis, you got any ideas? Well, we know the driver needs to get to the deep zone, but it's too dangerous to have her directly. We have to zero in on exactly where to go. The signal amplification trick won't work here. The ambient instability is too strong in the mid zone. Huh, how indeed. Um, there was one other time where the mass hallucination and the remnants intersected. Drive, I've tagged a route for you. Whenever you're ready, give it a spin. Okay, sweet. We're going to take their lead now. Uh, panels, bumpers, so... We actually don't need the bumpers now if we have those other things on. We can replace these and get them repaired. That's all cool. Uh, this, I'll just recycle. Okay, now we have some upgrades to do. Our car needs some repairs. But we might, we might be able to not even worry about that and just do some, some straight-up replacements, if possible. Uh, so, 
I do have a liberator. Let's put that on five. Don't need the food hotkey at all. The vacuum, like, maybe that's enough. I'm going to need another impact hammer here. Let me just chuck that. All right. Do I have any documents on me? I don't know if I do. No. Okay. Let's look in here for a second. So, swamp coral. I mean, that place was pretty swampy. Lead platelets were actually getting pretty close to this. This is radiation resist. Very, very nice. Look at this. Blocks radiation under 2.5k. So, all those, like, tiny areas would be fine. But we need Olympium fragments. Never seen that before. Uh, we have all of those, which is sweet. Stiff shirt is for piercing stuff. I don't know what that means. Electrical resist we have. That's good. Okay, this is all fine and dandy. Now, let's look at some other things. Let's look at maybe an advanced workbench. That's unstable, though. I feel like, I feel like that's aggressive. Experimental charging. Discharge even greater amounts of electricity to more effectively recharge your car's battery. But I need, like, better batteries as a whole, I think. Like, that would be nice. Blowtorch here, using a little bit of unstable. Uh, the lights. We did talk about wanting to get the expansion racks. So, we're going to do this. And then, what we could do is put our, our lights that we have stored somewhere. There we go. There, sweet. So we have side floodlights. Now, do I want even more storage? A seat rack. We can mount something in the back seat for more storage, I guess. We have side racks, then we got roof racks. The seat rack's cheaper. So let me do that. And we'll store it on this side, too. Okay. Now, engine-wise, if you'll recall, we needed a bunch of thermal sap, right? Yeah, like a ton. So I shouldn't have unlocked this, but again, you know, I don't think it shows you the materials that you need before that happens. Okay, what else do we have? Fuel, larger fuel can, side fuel tank. <laughs> it's an extremely safe idea. <laughs> yeah. Fuel synthesizer. Creates gasoline from various environmental substances it passes in the zone. Interesting. Leak resistant fuel tank. Okay, that's an option. Lightning rod. Oh, side batteries. Yeah. Maybe that's the way to go, then. I still need a wriggling wreck anomaly? What the heck is a wriggling wreck? I feel like this is so early that, um... We must... We must have seen one, maybe? But, I don't know. This is gonna use unstable for the plasma charger. Let's see. Trunk in the trunk. Where's, like, where's the way that I can improve my, my, uh, crafting mats? I need advanced workbench and carbon fiberglass. So that's tier two stuff. All of this, like, insulated panels, blocking charged is good, but it seems like, like, radiation is probably the way to go. Right? Right? And I have all the prerequisites. So lead paneling it is. Uh, 
Uh, can I take... Okay, so that's... I got the door. This is paneling. Take that. And then what? And then what, guys? Then what? This is all locker stuff. I guess maybe we'll take the improved antenna. Or I'll take the workbench here before I spend the rest of the unstable. Expanded matter regenerator. Let's get you nice and upgraded. Okay. I mean, it certainly looks nice. Yeah. I'll give you that. Is there a way to improve the crafting inside my car? Carbon fiberglass was one of the things that we needed. Liberator Mark II. So it lasts a little bit longer. And I could do that. I don't know if I want to buy this anchor radar. The way that we're playing, we're kind of driving towards what we need. Thermal vacuum. So it's extra durability, essentially. Uses thermal sap to make it, though. So it actually, yeah, it does show you the blueprint stuff. Racks. Trunk in the trunk. Fuel. Battery. Jump jacks, auto parker, resource radar. Auto parker would be nice. Yeah, let's do that. Technology of the future. Let me make this right now. I need cartridges. Are you freaking kidding me, dude? Are you kidding me, dude? I don't have enough pressurized cartridges in all of this mess. Wow. Shocking. That's wild. All right. So be it. Let's take the antenna. Oh, that's going up top. Sweet. It really reminds me of Satisfactory when we see this stuff being built. Oh, you know what? I do have. Oh, no, we don't. I dropped it. I put it into the thing. The uh, dumpster pearls I was thinking of. Okay. Let's take the fuel. Side fuel tank. Don't have enough. What else is available? Rapid refill pump. Fiberglass Liberator Mark II. Light replacement kits. Oh, the bio headlight I think would be sweet. Yeah, a headlight would be... Oh, no. This is um, not exactly what I was thinking. I was thinking, like, for me to put on my head. That's not exactly what I'm thinking, then. Lead-plated bumper we're not going to do right now. All-terrain. So if we look at the differences, so it's got higher durability. It's got um, 
a slightly better road rating, slightly worse off-road rating, but significantly better than summer tires. And it looks to be about, it's the same water rating, but this would be better for on the road. We have puncture proof, so this blocks flats and blown outs, which honestly we haven't had a problem with. And then I got paddle tires, which is good for water. So that's an option too. Hmm. I could also just save it. And just see. So, as far as I can tell, it doesn't seem like I have the ability to upgrade the back of my car. The crafting component. Which is, um, not great, but it is what it is. Okay, let's see what I can get done here. Large fuel can. Let's fill this. Now, hold on. Okay, so I can't put that in there. I have to store it inside. I mean, okay, fine. So I have a bunch of extra... A bunch of extra fuel. That's fine for me. Uh, what else might we want here? So lead-plated doors. Could at least replace our, our steel. Oh, but that's all my lead platelets, I just realized. The auto parker needs those cartridges. Okay. So lead platelets is going to be a tricky one to find, eh? Realistically, I probably don't need these anymore. Okay. Now... What else? Armored, lead, steel. We're gonna need some repair putty. Let's get this thing fixed up. And then, do I want to do any tire stuff? I think we're fine there. We have our side floodlights now. Um, if I build side storage, can I put this in my back seat? Huh. So what is the point of me doing what I did earlier? Is this maybe a bit larger? Is that what happened? I can save this for later, I suppose. Okay. Let's see. I'm not sure what I could put in there. C. 
seat rack. If no one's going to be using these back seats, you may as well mount something here. This will serve as a solid enough base. What could I put into the seat rack? Unless, is it possible that I installed it onto the other side of the car by accident? Like, did I reach through? No, like, you can see it there. Huh. Let me set that down for a sec. Take this door off. Oh, there. Okay, hold on. So, left seat rack. What can I do with this? Not a whole heck of a lot, it seems. At least right now. Alright. We'll try and fix that, I guess. Or do I have... I might have recycled a steel door, actually. I got one here. This is good. I also don't know if it fixes, like, the cracked stuff, so this will be a good little test. Alright, is there anything that I've forgotten? I don't think so. Just repair putty. You can see, like, we are low on some stuff. We're low on chemicals... So as much as I've been hoarding, we could still use a lot of stuff that's out there. I think we're good. Let's check our checklist. Yep, sweet. Uh, battery jumper. Yeah, great idea. Great idea. Whip up a couple of those. Storage. And I'll have to figure out what goes in here because... You know, part of the part of the problem is it seems like you can only access it when the door is off. And maybe that's a thing. But I also can't install this in here. Oh. No. This is just storing it in itself. This is because I'm holding it. Uh, there's no reason that space has to actually be in the trunk, guaranteed zone-proof for at least 10 minutes. Alright, well... We'll keep experimenting with that. There we go. Okay, now, where, where'd my, where'd my, uh, there it is. Put this into one. I think we're good. I think we're good. Couple things we want to do, but not everything that we can do. So now, like, in order to get here, we gotta do some serious driving. Right? There's no way to just get there. We have to go through all of this. Right? Um, we do have highway, at least. Let's just see. Do we see anything in here? Perpetual stability? Yeah. Low fuel. And a whole bunch of anomalies that we have no idea on. Even, like, look at this. See in the bottom right there? Oh, okay, there we- yeah, we gotta scan first, I forgot. Now, we couldn't- we can do more, um, scans if we want. Does that add any value to me? If I do that? 
two destinations planned, one scanner charge. I guess once we start kind of buckling down and saying, okay, I need to look for X, Y, or Z, you know? So how is this going to work now when we leave? Because we've scanned three things. Well, I guess it doesn't matter. I keep thinking that that's like our, that's our destination and we have to go there, but that's not the case. We choose which areas we're driving through as we drive through them. And if we get lucky on those highway spots, we can get some sweet, easy resources, right? Looks like this will open a highway, so I wonder if that'll give us, like, maybe even possibly through here. But also, I don't know if these outlines become the highways. That would be interesting. I didn't catch this one before, if it was or not. Either way, this is where we need to go now. It does say that there's a stable anchor here, so... Or I misread it. I wonder if at some point we will have a way to more quickly navigate to those outer zones. Just gonna enjoy this. Sorry about all that mess with Oppy. Th th there's no question, Oppy is a is a, a once in a generation genius. I I've watched her manipulate wavelengths with nanometer precision without batting an eye. <laughs> so yeah, to see her go from being the sharpest person in the room to what she is now is disappointing. And this sad, place, probably. It leeches away your sanity day by day. So for. For Oppie to live here in complete isolation, locked away with only bad memories and expired medication, nothing good comes of that. Yeesh. I'd feel a hell of a lot better if I knew why she suddenly cares so much about the remnants. Well, I would assume it's because our car just showed up and she thought that they were gone. Let me check this. Armored door? Now, do I... I don't think I need any more armored doors, right? No. I have two armor and two lead-plated. Uh, panels we could use. But doors, less. Hey, blowtorch. This is the healing thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sweet. This is an extremely atypical blowtorch is fueled by a restorative semi-organic compound. Me, you're not gonna like this, Francis. But I'm starting to think we can't do this alone. Look, it, it's not that I doubt our abilities. But no one knows the zone like that old bat. <laughs> you heard what she said. She'll sabotage this remnant before helping us. Right. Well, she'll come around to our jobs. No, she won't. Nothing in the 13 years we spent in R&D proof that she's open to working with anyone. She dug her heels in so deep that she wrestled everyone down into the grave with her. I... I can't be involved if she is. What are you talking about? This is the entire reason we stayed behind. To oh. I wonder if that'll pick up when we get through here. So I think one thing I'm going to attempt to do is when we're scanning these new areas that we're going to is try to get a sense of like we got extreme speed here. 
try to get a sense of the anomalies that might be present. And if there's question marks, then like maybe spend some time searching for them because some research is locked behind those anomalies. Oh, that was convenient. Yikes. Slow it down. No. Now remember, we don't have that auto parker installed. Because we need uh, pressurized cartridges. Wait, how do I not have this scanned? Minuteman? How have that not been scanned? Very sorry to hear that you find my anger and frustration difficult to deal with, even intimidating, but I wonder if you'd react the same way if any of your male colleagues came to you with similar complaints or dissatisfaction. I've been on hold for two hours, and I'm calling to warn you of a new danger that's very much in everyone's interest to understand. Or to know about. Do you understand? No, listen to me. Write this down. We're seeing more and more anomalies capable of electrogenesis, of producing electric energy like an eel or a ray, but at remarkable levels. This is enormously dangerous, and I don't care about what secrets ARDA wants to keep. This is what people. This is about people's safety and their lives. This has nothing to do with trying to muscle in on research or put myself back in some half-assed program. It's about you idiots understanding the risks you're hiding from people. Now let me send this data through. Oh, you want to talk about theories? How are you on limb wave interpolation or Patel's theory that ARDA have twisted half the peninsula into some kind of Klein bottle where the inside is now the outside as well? Or do you want to put me through to somebody who's actually interested in making things happen? Yeah, well said. Please be a wriggling wreck. Scan. Crackling crawler. Wow, we're getting new stuff here. Hey, Jill, we've been through the latest batch of tests and almost everything is negative. You're right that this thing does respond to ground vibration and clearly senses nearby movement. But beyond that, there's no reaction to any other kind of stimulus. Not light, not sound, not radiation, not any kind of changes in atmosphere, humidity, nothing. Best I can suggest right now is that its behavior is kind of territorial, often attacking anything it senses is close. Wait, not that I'm saying this thing is displaying intelligence. It's just some kind of chemical reaction. We're still saying that they're... That they are intelligent, right? And uh, anyone even begin to figure out what these things might be made of yet? That is a common trend that we've been noticing. That uh, they've repeatedly said these things are not intelligent, Welcome right? Back. This is Frequency File, Episode 2. In the last episode, I told you about the curious case of Dr. Ophelia Turner. When it comes to this enigmatic individual, one of three versions is true myth, martyr, or monster. To be able to weigh her in turns as heretic, genius, or scapegoat, we must first set the stage. When I started down this path to discover who she was, what she did, and ultimately what happened to her, I didn't expect it to lead me to one of the strangest mysteries of the Pacific Northwest, the Olympic Exclusion Zone. But let me rewind a bit. In Northwest Washington State, there are 3,600 square miles of vibrant wilderness called the Olympic Peninsula. Bounded by water on three sides, it was a wonderland for outdoorsy types, with snow-capped mountains and salmon-bearing rivers and pristine rainforests. Up until 1955, it was the residence of 100,000 people, including Ophelia Turner. It was her birthplace, her hometown, and, it turns out, Ground Zero and yeah, so she was born here for the promise of Lim technology. In true fashion, the government never comes out and says that's what led to the creation of the Olympic Exclusion Zone. But the chain of events were in plain sight. Strange accidents leading to the government's claim of eminent domain and subsequent seizure of the peninsula. The evacuation of 100,000 people and the attempt an abject failure containing the rumors that spread like wildfire because it turns out even with the government's resources at your disposal keeping secrets is a tricky business you can bet there was plenty of talk as a result lucky me because i had plenty of questions 
I love these updates. Okay, sweet. So this airstrip, well, the whole strip of road between our lab site and that old gas station got smeared and scrambled. So now it's more like some kind of giant trampoline. I'm not kidding. Anything that touches the road just takes off. It's starting to spread to some of the forest and swamp nearby. It's not that the gel is just spilled on the ground. It's like it's part of the ground now, part of the earth itself. So I guess you can update your inventory logs on that. Is there some kind of maintenance request? So I think that airstrip is what we've been running into when we're, when we're getting launched and not expecting it. This is uh, a lot of freaking radiation here. We need the platelets. So unfortunately, I need to eat this radiation. Monitoring your vitals. Yep. I got it, guys. I got it. Holy crap. I've airstripped. Wow. Minorly dicey. There's the thing back there. Electromagnetic squalls or something strange in the air, whatever this bizarre atmospheric phenomenon may be, it's certainly going to play havoc with your car's electrical and mechanical systems. Hence the honking. Or is a way to deal with these? Besides patience. Wait. What? What the hell? Oh, it's really messing. I want to get the hell out of here. <laughs> that was not good. Uh, this is like, it's really, it's just taking me all over the place. For once, I can blame something other than my inputs. Oh god, we're blind? What was that? Okay, we're out. Jeez. No! Yowza. <laughs> like, what the frick, man? I don't know if I'm going to be able to climb out of here. I 
need a clean path back to the road. I don't think I can make this. Come on, turbo. Oh, that works. It's just, it's everywhere. Do you see it try to launch me into that? It's not localized, that storm cluster. No! Nailed it. Please get me out of here. And please give me a repair. I need a I need a repair station so bad. Okay. Wow. So now dead end do not enter. Mm-hmm. So I have to go here. Looking in the bottom right to see if we get indications of what's there. There is some unrecognized anomalies and some anchors. Let's do it, man. Holy moly.